welcome to Oracle ERP Apps Kit YouTube channel. This is Vay. In this tutorial, I am going to explain using form personalization how to restrict list of values in Oracle Forms. So, I am going to use for this tutorial the entire journal screen. So, in this, we are going to restrict the list of values in the journal categories. So, I am just opening the entire journal form. New journal. So in this, there is a category is there. So this is general uh, ledger category. So by default, there are a lot of categories are being displayed. So our aim is to restrict only some few categories to be shown whenever the user coding this form. So one is manual, and another one is we are restricting to adjustments. So whenever the user query this category, only the two values should appear. So how to achieve this? So this can be achieved using the Oracle form personalization. So I'm going to open the form personalization form. So here, diagnosis, custom code, and then personalize. So already I have created the values. So sequence ten, and then the restricting category only for few users. So I'm restricting to only one user. So the user is only all our user I logged in. We don't know. So the actions. So here we have the two actions. First one is built in. So here we are coding, uh, creating the this one query part and the next one is you are assigning the value so this built-in type is create record group from query and then this argument is your select statement part so this should be the value which is returning in your list of values so directly you can see the values so this is the query which we are using for the category alone So how we can get this query? Because we don't know from the front end to see these values. Okay. So you have to get this query by opening the this Oracle form, standard form. You need to get the, these columns from this list of values which has been attached in the Oracle form. So here we have the three columns selected. But if you see in the category, it is having only the two values one is category and then the description so the one column is hidden in the logo so we need to include those columns also even we are building the code so we have the three columns so we need to give the exact query which is being used in the logo so that one we need to keep in mind so first we need to find out the oracle form name so to get that help about application so here this is the form name so this form has to be downloaded from Utah. so already have downloaded and then i have kept it open so we will see how to get this uh, value using the form so this one I already opened using the form builder. So this is the form name. Okay, so this is the category, that column which is we are seeing in the front end. So go to the property palette and then uh, you can see what is the list of values which is attached. So user J category name. So this list of values is having the code. So go to yellow list and then find out user G category name. So there it is, user J category name in the script here. So when you double click it, you can able to see which record group which is attached. So 
तो ये जो जी कैटेगरी में सुबोधे रिकॉर्ड दो तो ये जो जी कैटेगरी में यस देर इट इस ये जो जी कैटेगरी में तो हियर द कोरी इस तो यू कैन एबल टू सी द कोरी हियर सो कॉपी दिस Select the J category name. So three columns is there. So even though it is showing only the two columns, here if you see the query having three values. So the category and the description. So we should use the same query when we are reusing in our custom menu. Just I'm copying the value now, and then open the tool. So I added only the bar colors here. So I'm restricting to only the adjustment and the manual. Okay. So this will only restrict to display in the yellow with two values. So I'm just executing. So this is the value it will return in the so if you see here, JE category name you are having the internal value. So user JE category name is your value which is being displayed in the front end. Okay, so we need to paste those values here, and then we need to give your group name, the custom group name. Okay, so xx user JE category name underscore LOV I am using. So. Next step is to assign the values to the category. So we need to find uh, the LOV name. So the property is object type is LOV. And then our target object name we know JE category name, user underscore JE category name. So if you see here. So the next one is property name is the group name. Okay, let's select the group name and then you need to give your custom yellow name which being used in the building. So save the record. So now I am enabling the value. I am saving it here. So what we have done is first we created the one sequence and then we created the condition and then action types. So first one is we are building the query using the new record group and then we given the name. So then we are assigning the standard LOV with our new custom name LOV. So I'm closing the form again. So we open the form again. So now need you know with the category so now you can able to see only the two values so this is how we can achieve the custom yellow so based on the business scenario uh, restrict the values so like this we can restrict the categories based on the user or based on the business scenarios we can restrict so thanks for watching See you in the next video.